national security law constitutes a fundamental change of circumstances in respect to our extradition agreement with Hong Kong. And so Australia today has taken steps to suspend our extradition agreement. Uh, we have formally notified Hong Kong and advised the Chinese authorities. I also note that uh, our travel advice for Hong Kong has been updated, uh, which in our view, and this is not just our view, this is, I'd say, a shared view of many countries, um, of that uh, it undermines the one country, two systems framework and Hong Kong's own basic law and the high degree of autonomy guaranteed in the Sino-British Joint Declaration um, that was set out there. As a result of changes that have occurred in Hong Kong, that there will be citizens of Hong Kong who may be looking to move elsewhere, to start a new life somewhere else, to take their skills, their businesses um, and things that they've been running. Uh, but our immigration program provides some particular opportunities for those uh, who have been living as citizens in Hong Kong and around 10,000 or thereabouts uh, of uh, Hong Kong citizens and residents uh, are currently in Australia on student visas or on temporary work visas. What we've uh, uh, agreed to do is we've uh, agreed to adjust the policy settings to ensure that for skilled and graduate visa holders, we will be extending visas by five years from today with a pathway to permanent residency at the end of those five years. Now that means if you're a current or future student, you will be able to stay for a total of five years once you've graduated with a pathway to permanent residency at the end of that period. And we will also provide a five-year visa with a pathway to permanent residency for future Hong Kong applicants for temporary skilled visas subject to meeting an updated skills list and appropriate labour marking testing. We will also look at new incentives and arrangements to attract export oriented Hong Kong based businesses to relocate to Australia, particularly where they have a strong potential for future growth and employment of Australians. Click